found him here this morning. We haven't ID'd him yet. His personal effects are scattered everywhere, so we didn't find his wallet. But we may find it when we find the rest of his briefcase and his missing hand. Well, judging by that avulsion and the claw marks, I'd say a large predatory animal did this. But whatever it was would have to have four-inch canines, a bite horse of 5,000 PSI, and weigh over a ton. That animal doesn't exist. What the hell did this? You don't think... Do you remember back in the day when we wouldn't calmly consider a stone statue our prime suspect? No, I actually don't. My friend, we got meats, we got cheeses, we got guac, we got beer, and of course, we got my favorite chips. Let's get this confab popping. Are your friends coming? Yeah, let me just calibrate the multiverse hollow projector and we'll be on our way. Your friends are from different Earths? No, I would have thought multiverse hollow projector would have given you that clue, but apparently not. Yes, they're from other Earths, and we're off and running. Well, allow me to make some introductions. From Earth 12, the holder of four PhDs and the author of the book Everything is Meaningless, so why did I buy this book? I give you Herr Harrison Wolfgang Wells. Guten Tag, Wes. Good and tag. Do you know that it amuses me that you think that saving your tiny world matters when the entire multiverse will inevitably be consumed in a fiery heat death? Death? That's what I said, death. Death. Oh. Yeah, death. Are you death? Yeah. Oh, you must be the little one that they caught this guy. I mean, not that little. I'm five seven. Good and tag. Yeah. All right, moving on. Um, from Earth 47, I give you the billionaire inventor and publishing tycoon, general champion of free speech, H. Lothario Wells. Oh, that's right. I keep that going. I try the other one. No, no, not the crotch. It's that. Yeah, the leopard print. Silly all that. What's going on? He's uh, otherwise occupied. <clears throat> oh. Golly, there you are. My apologies, Pierce. Y'all got us red-handed here at the mansion on Dress Up. Now, you know what they say, intellect is the greatest aphrodisiac. Y'all saw, nobody says that. Here's to rising IQs and libidos. <laughs> <laughs> Hate to call to a pattern here, Harry, but aren't your friends just... And from the post-apocalyptic landscape of Earth-22, where man and machine have become one in order to survive, I give you Wells 2.0. Right out. Let's make this quick. Reapers have raided our petrol supplies and stolen our water tanks. I'd like to smash them to bits. Well, it's a party now. Forget not about me. Tis I. Well, it's the great. Sorry, it's a bad connection. Yeah, that was a terrible connection. Good on you. That dude was strange. Harry? Yeah. Sidebar. We're gonna sidebar. So, remember when I said, make friends? I didn't mean with yourself. <laughs> They're great, aren't they? And some of the brightest minds in all the multiverse. Good company, too, I might add. I mean, that Harrison Wolfgang Wells? <laughs> Guy's hilarious. Look, we're desperate. Sure we are. So, I think we should give the Council of Wells a chance. Council of Wells? It's a pretty good name, right? Yes, it is. I know. All right. All right. Fellas. Fellas, will you? No, go do your thing. Here's how it's going to go down. Nine hard, so young, unnecessary, also not wanted, so off you go, off you go, off you go, still here, off you go. And even I know when you got too many partners, and I may be half machine, but you're all useless. I think what the fellas are trying to say here is that they prefer to work alone. You don't say. I just did. Don't just say it. Yeah, he just said. Fine. You enjoy your roadkill. I'm gonna be eating my favorite chips. We had a Cisco on my earth once. He was delicious. Oh, he ain't not a Cisco. <laughs> <laughs>